All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Beer Tree Brew Company, and they're out of both Port Crane and Johnson City, New York, and this is their Pineapple Coconut Creamsicle. So on the front of the label, they're calling this one a New England-style IPA. However, on the side of the label, they are also saying this is a lactose-free milkshake IPA, and then in very tiny font, it says ale with natural flavors. It comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less than time of review. This can is approximately three and a half weeks old. So I am incredibly hyped for this beer. Probably the most hype I've been for a beer in a hot minute. Why? This series of beers from them Fantastic. I've had their pineapple cream skull and their double pineapple cream skull. I reviewed both and they gave them both five out of fives. Why? It's exactly what it says it is. It's a lactose free milkshake IPA with pineapple. And uh, they typically, so they say L with natural flavors and lactose free milkshake IPA. They don't say what's actually in here. I found when I reviewed the uh, pineapple cream skull and double pineapple cream skull, they were using uh, pineapple juice and vanilla. So I'd imagine that's the same for this one, but they're also throwing in some kind of coconut. But anyway, as far as like milkshake IPAs go and milkshake double IPAs, the pineapple cream skull, double pineapple cream skull, my favorite, period. Delicious. You add coconut to the mix and I am a coconut fiend and you're going for like a pina colada creamsicle. Like I can't see how this is going to be bad whatsoever. I am super hyped for this one. I saw a, a good friend of mine and fellow beer tuber Kyle over at No Hype Beer Reviews. He reviewed this one. Didn't watch it yet. Want to see what he says after I review this. And also want to give a quick shout out to another good friend of mine, a fellow beer tuber, Dan over at FLX Beer Reviews. When this first came out, he was the one that notified me that they released this. And he was like, dude, you're going to love it. I mean, I know you love pina colada and you like coconut and everything. He's like, you're going to love this. So uh, because of him, I knew this was available and I picked it up when it showed up. So huge thanks to Dan. And, you know, Kyle's fucking great. Go check out his reviews. Anyway, let's crack this one open, get it into the glass. And we got hashtag proper glass here because we got the beer tree glass. Anyway. So yeah, this is looking very akin to, uh, you know, the pineapple cream skull and the double pineapple cream skull that I uh, reviewed. They just have that, you know, New England style look to them. But man, both of those beers were amazing. Now, if I somehow like this less than those beers, I am going to be kind of surprised to just be honest with you, because those were top tier milkshake uh, IPAs and double IPAs. Anyway, it has this murky, you know, orange yellow color. I uh, can't see through it. Uh, very turbid. Uh, had about a finger of an off-white uh, creamy looking head that is now dissipated. Now I see that there is remnants, like almost like when you use, um, you know, get a heavily fruited sour smoothie, sloshy dessert or whatever, and you get like the pectin or like the actual um, like ingredients on the side, it's happening here. So I don't know if that's, that might be from the coconut. Maybe they're using coconut puree in here. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, it definitely has that. So let's get a nose. Um, it doesn't smell great. Maybe I got an off can or something. This is crazy. I don't know what to tell you. It has like, it smells like an old IPA. The fuck? That's not what I expected out of this. It, I, I mean, this is three and a half weeks old because they just released it. I picked it up and yeah, I mean... It has that, a lot of times when I have old IPAs, I get it like orange marmalade type of thing. I'm like white bread. That's kind of what I'm getting here. I'm not, I'm not getting any pineapple. If I'm fighting for the coconut, maybe. It doesn't smell like fucking anything. Wow, is that disappointing? So I don't know what Kyle said about it, but I know I saw Dan's untapped check and obviously what he told me. So, I mean, he drank it like, probably a couple days old. I think he tried to get in like mid to late July and they released this one, I think it was, yeah, middle of July. So I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna say you're bullshit. You'd be like, oh, I'm picking up this, that, and the other, I'm not. I'm basically orange marmalade on toasted white bread. And that's usually an indication of an old IPA, but I know this isn't old. So I don't know if my can went sideways, maybe my fucking nose is broken. Uh, hopefully it tastes a lot better than it smells. Anyway, cheers everybody. Okay, <laughs> taste is a lot better, a lot better. But I will say this, right off the first sip, this does not, to me, compare to the pineapple creamsicle or the double pineapple creamsicle. Those are on different levels. This is really good, and I love that I taste the coconut, but there's something a little bit like missing 
with this one that I was just getting that one. I don't know what it is. Body in this one. At 7%, it's appropriate. It's higher side to medium. Nice body to it. Mouthfeel. It's soft. It's smooth. It has that creaminess you want from something that calling itself a cream scone. That's a milkshake IPA. Yeah, for sure. The taste. So right up front, I do get pineapple juice. It's not as prominent as it was in the regular pineapple cream scone, but it's definitely there. Right after that is where the coconut hits. And man, and I love coconut. And this definitely has a big blast of coconut. I think that coconut is kind of, I don't want to say saving this beer, but it's kind of the hero of this beer now because it is the most predominant note for me. And it's allowing me to, to kind of um, enjoy it more so than if they, let's say if you remove that coconut flavor, I think this would be somewhat dull to my palate. But it's really saving it. Um, so that coconut comes right after. It's more like a fresh kind of like shredded coconut kind of vibe to it. The vanilla hits after that. I think the one thing that I'm that's kind of missing for me specifically in this beer compared to the pineapple cream skull and the double pineapple cream skull is that big vanilla punch. I always found that they make up for the lack of lactose in here with the vanilla. The vanilla kind of brings that lactose kind of character. Uh, they obviously make the mouth feel fantastic. Probably a shit tight, a uh, shit tight, shit, 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 <laughs> a shit tied, a shit ton of like torrified wheat and tons of like flaked oats and whatnot. That's probably where they're getting that, that really great mouthfeel and the creaminess from. Uh, so they they use the vanilla to kind of replicate the, what the lactose would bring probably to the um, taste as far as like that vanilla kind of feel, that milkshake as kind of feel. It's not that big in here. It's noticeable, but it's not over the top. As I'm taking more and more sips and letting it open up, though, I'll be honest with you, it's starting to get a little bit better. Um, maybe you just need to open up in the glass because this isn't that cold. This, I... Got this out of the fridge about 20, 25 minutes ago. So it's not like ice cold. I wanted the kind of the flavors to come to the forefront. So, they, you know, they weren't hiding. And it was, wasn't tough to pick out, but ended up being that way anyway. Yeah, so pineapple juice, shredded, fresh coconut, vanilla. Second half of the palate is where the beer comes in. That's what I've always liked about this lineup is that you do get an IPA portion of the show, which a lot of times milkshake IPAs, especially fruited ones, kind of lack. And on the back of the palate, I'm left with this nice, like, mild to moderate bitterness. It has, like, an almost, like, kind of, like, dank, earthy kind of thing happening as well from the hops. And we're getting a little bit of, like, orange, grapefruit, maybe a little peach. Yeah, mild to moderate bitterness, semi-dry. What I like about this is it's not too sweet. Um... But it's really, man, you now so it's, it's opening up a lot more and it's, it's it's becoming better and better with each sip. It still doesn't touch the pineapple cream skull. And here's, here's the sad reality is I think I reviewed the double pineapple cream skull and the regular uh, pineapple cream skull. It'd be like two and a half, three years ago at this point. And back then, you know, there's so many fucking creamsicle beers and pineapple and pina colada and this and that or the other. So back then, I just didn't have anything that really stood out like those beers so i went nuts over them. not going to go nuts over this but it's really well made i love that i can taste the coconut can't taste alcohol nothing on the palate nothing in the chest don't know it's seven percent so this is weird because when i smell it i'm like if i give this a three out of five if it tastes if it tastes like a smell it's gonna be three out of five at best and then i taste it, i'm like okay that's more like the four out of five like just, just this is just a progression in my mind score because when i'm drinking a beer i'm always constantly thinking about a score or how the how i'm feeling about a beer in comparison to other things so after the first sip i was like all right this is like a round of four it's really good then that coconut started to show up then the vanilla started to show up now i'm getting the pineapple and then each sip i go back it's turning into a pineapple coconut creamsicle I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you and say, it's awesome. This is not a five out of five. It's not going to get a five out of five, but it's really good. If you're in the mood for a pineapple coconut beer, you know, a pina colada beer, and you like milkshake IPAs, yeah, you, you want to pick this one up if you get beer tree in your area. For me, it's just, I don't think it's as cohesive. I don't think it's, I don't think it's as um, good, just flat out good as the pineapple creamsicle. It's tough to compare to the double pineapple creamsicle because that's almost 9% and that's basically like, like a, almost a triple or like a big double IP. This is like a regular IPA or a regular milkshake IPA, right? But if I'm comparing this to the pineapple creamsicle, that one blows this one out of the water. And for me, it's kind of crazy to say because I love coconut. It's one of my favorite fruits. It's one of my favorite adjuncts in a beer. And it just... It just isn't as good. 
it's still really fucking good. It's just, I, I, it's, I'm almost apologizing for a beer that I'm going to give a really good score to. It's just, it's not that great. I say not that great. I mean, in comparison to the pineapple cream skull. Anyway, just carrying on. It's probably going to be like a 12, 13 minute review. I don't really care. Whatever. Pineapple coconut cream skull from uh, Beer Tree. I have no problems giving this a, um, we'll go high 4.25. We'll go 4.3. So that goes to show you, I'm sitting here and saying, oh, this is not that great and everything. It's still a 4.3 out of 5. This is still fucking delicious. Pineapple, coconut, vanilla, creamsicle, IPA. Yes. The problem I have is it's just not as good as the pineapple one. And maybe the pineapple one isn't as good since they've you know ramped up their production. When I had it, they only had the pork crane location. Now that's like their, I think their farm brewery and they have the big production um, facility in Johnson City, which I think, shout out to a good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx. I think he said it's in like an old Sears. Um, so I don't know if something has changed with maybe even the base pineapple cream skull. Maybe I need to pick up a can, not re-review it, but just taste it to see because I remember those beers just being top-notch, fantastic. So this, while fucking really good, it's just not as good as what I remember the Pineapple Cream Skull being. And it happens. Price and availability. I believe these were $18 a four-pack. I bought a single can. I think it was like maybe like $4.75, 5 bucks a can. So, I mean, that's fine for what you're getting. Um, you know, it's, I think, I want to say it's solid value, but it's like kind of the going rate. And it's not bad or good. It's just, it is what it is. Availability, wherever you see Beer Tree. I don't know where they distribute. I know they get distribution outside of New York State now, but I don't know exactly where uh, they get distribution. But if you're in New York State, you totally can pick up their beer. It's all over the place. And I, I need to uh, try some more of their fruited sours, some more of their IPAs. And they, they release like lagers and this and that from time to time. I just need to drink some more Beer Tree because I used to love what they do. And I just haven't been drinking them lately. And I don't know why. So need to pick up some more. Anyway, if you've had this one before or anything within this cream series post in the comment section like i said it's still a really fucking good beer 4.3 out of 5 it's just it does it it pales in comparison to my memory of the pineapple cream skull and the double pineapple cream skull and when you start thinking about that and i'm going back i'm like that was a 5 out of 5 amazing milkshake ipa and, the, and here's the beauty about this. these are lactose free so there's no lactose in here if you are a vegan or vegetarian you should be able to drink this it's it it's beautiful it's absolutely fucking beautiful that they can pull this off without lactose and i wish more breweries would take note anyway Appreciate everybody stopping by to another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Until the next one. Cheers.